cool. Brian Muir, my time has come. Does anyone know, Beaters, do you happen to know how Tekken Prowess is calculated in this game? I, it's, it's not that it really matters, it's just more of a, like, I've always wondered where that number comes from. Like, is it average rank of your characters? Is it based off that horoscope thing at the bottom? Whoa, that was crazy. There we go. He plays pretty clean so far. I would expect taunts from him. Okay, never mind. That was a little bit weird. That first knee is also minus 10. So if he's only doing the first knee, you can actually just punish him. You can just call him out on it. Because the first knee actually has better... Uh, unless he knows how to taunt jet upper. Or really just... The second knee is only as good as the best taunt you have. Prowess is pretty much indicative of how much total Tekken you've played. Your highest rank, average rank, play stats, amount of games played in that order. Wow, okay. Interesting. So it's just like really just like... Oh, Compilation horse script. That's funny. All right, so that's his whole. Look at that. Look at that combo. We finally did the extension correct. Ooh, he caught us. Ooh, he didn't hold back. Okay. Oh, okay. So he just goes for it there. That was weird. I'm pretty sure I'm plus enough that I can forward three, but I could be wrong. Nice. Whoa. It really just beat my jab. Okay. Alright, he finished it. Alright, he finished it. Round four. Fight. He got us. There we go. 
He's a sag rising when mine's suffering from retrograde. Yep. Let's see if I can catch a three plus four. is such a good keep out move like holy crap like so like oh my gosh that built in sidestep where that you can use it when they're getting up on you just to like snake around them and just send them flying oh my gosh it's so good it is so good <laughs> I watched a uh, Frame Whisper Tekken video where he talked about why he hates Brian. Honestly, I don't mind. Like, I actually could see it. Like, he talks about he talks about how there is this myth that Brian, you know, in order to really get him to shine in tournament, you're gonna need to like you're gonna need to get all the taunt and all the crazy execution down. But like, yeah, they're right. He's right in the sense that that might have been true in the past. But like his his tools have gotten so good. Like, Hatchet Kick is, and many people think that Hatchet Kick might be one of the best lows in the game at this point. It's not a hell sweep, but it's only minus 13 on block. Good block, holy shit. Nice try. If you finish it there, I can jab. Nice. Oh, I tried to walk around that. Got him. Round <laughs> four. Fight. Nice for nice, uh, magic four. Nice. Hey, see you later, readers. So Red Bull Kumite is today. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Take it easy, beaters. Oh, nice. Nice. 
Nice. That was really good adaptation from the opponent. Alright. Yeah, this Brian plays pretty clean. They know some things. Dang, so it's got enough pushback. Okay. Nice try. Nice try. Orbital is good, dude. I think I'm figuring out how he likes to play to a degree. Three plus four is minus 13. So if he tries to do any move after it, we can just mock punch it. See? Spaghetti flyer. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Oh gosh, what a crazy. It's not really worth uh, challenging his magic for fishing because he does finish it sometimes. We can do that though. Oh, I definitely know that feeling. Oh no! Yep, he likes to the challenge there. Got your Brian to Suzaku, nice! Let's see if you can watch my Brian get to Mighty Ruler then. Congratulations. Is that your first time to Suzaku or no? Ah. Looks like we're done with him. 
the games. But yeah, I definitely know what you mean about brain getting fried. And yeah, I've been struggling too, actually. Um, my highest that I got was actually, I think, Divine Ruler. I was trying to break into Fuj Fujin, into the Royal Blues, but I was hitting a wall, so I tried to like change the way that I was playing and uh, took a bunch of losses as a result. But it's okay. It's like deloading if you're weight training. Maybe you'll you lower the weight a bit, and then you will uh, hopefully surpass. We'll see. <laughs> hey, it's the same guy. It's funny. All right, let's play again. No walls this time. No walls this time, and it's a promotion match. So, what have you been struggling with, Spaghetti Fire? Can you put a finger on it? person. Nice orbital. Really good orbital. He's using little pokes and he's just pissing us off. That's like really good. Nice. Mostly neutral game. Oh, um, there's something called an absolute timing. Where it's like, every time, every time, uh, oops. Every time you go in, you immediately attack. And your opponent can see that and react to it with a move. Gosh, we messed it up. So sometimes it's just getting used to just like walking around. Nice. We caught it. tricked him once. Yeah, so basically you see the character, like, pe people will inadvertently build this uh, reaction to opponents closing the dish sense. So kind of imagine you and, like, your versus a Claudio or something, and the Claudio is just standing there, and as soon as you start walking towards him to attack, he hop kicks you. It's very much like that. Like, there, I just did a mock kick, and it was right when he did, uh, orbital. See? <laughs> oh, he got us. We're dead. Okay. Um, so, because of that, what you can do is you can close the distance and back off if you want. And see if they, like, do anything. He likes to do 3 plus 4 into orbital, and we can just run up and do this. What was that grab? Got him. Your whiff punishment is non-existent? Um... Yeah, so that's... That's a tricky one, because, like, for example, I can't with punish very well with jet upper but um and also it kind of is one of those things where it's like when you're looking for it sometimes it's not there <laughs> 